Hello, and welcome to another video to teach you about the wonderful world of Latin. Today's video will focus on the verb sum esse, your linking verb in Latin. To review verbs, you know that verbs are separated into four conjugations of verbs. So these are different groups of verbs that are formed in similar patterns. The first conjugation and second conjugation are ones we've already talked about for the present active tense and voice. The first conjugation has that long A-R-E in its second principal part, and the second conjugation has the long E-R-E in its second principal part. There are also a few irregular verbs, like sum esse, that don't quite fit into these normal patterns of the first, second, third, or fourth conjugations. We will talk about their forms in a little bit. All verbs have the same five qualities, a person, number, tense, voice, and mood. The first person is I or we, second person you or y'all, third person he, she, it, or they, the number being singular or plural. The tense could be present, imperfect, future, perfect, pluperfect, or future perfect, and it tells you when the action happened. The voice is active or passive, and it talks about who is doing the action or who receives the action. All we have talked about are active verbs where the subject does the action. Then there are the moods. The indicative mood, that's a statement of fact. The imperative mood, a command. The infinitive, to be or the subjunctive that shows potential. For all verbs, the dictionary citation form gives us four principal parts, like amo, amare, amawi, amatum, or sum esse fui futurum. The same four principal parts always have the same forms. The first principal part is your first person, singular, present, active, indicative, and your second principal part is your present infinitive. So let's look a little bit more at the types of verbs so that we can talk more about sum esse. There are transitive verbs, verbs that could have a direct object, like wideo portam, I see the gate. What do I see? I see a gate. There's a direct object for your verb to see, wideo. Then there are also intransitive verbs, verbs that cannot have a direct object. We've seen cogito cogitare, meaning to think or to ponder. If it's being used as to think, it cannot have a direct object. Cogito de porta, I'm thinking about the gate. You can think about something, you cannot think something. Um, so you have to use your preposition de plus the ablative porta. Then there is another group of verbs, linking verbs. These are verbs that connect your subject with a predicate nominative. A predicate nominative is another noun or adjective that tells us more about the subject. We've already talked about this use of the nominative case by saying it is used on both sides of a linking verb. For example, porta est magna, the gate is large. In fact, you've already seen this linking verb, est, and est is one of your forms of sum esse. So let's talk about your verb sum esse. Like I said, it's a linking verb, so it does not have an active or passive voice. It is also an irregular verb, so you need to memorize all of its forms. The forms that you'll need to know are the indicative and infinitive forms. There is an imperative, but you don't need to know it, and we will learn about the subjunctive in a much later chapter. We will also only focus on the present tense for now. Just like other verbs, you get two forms from your dictionary entry. Sum is your first person singular present indicative form, and essay is your present infinitive. So we can add these to our chart like I've done here. You also already know that est is your third person singular form. And then here are the other forms. As is second person singular, you are. 
Sumus is first person plural, we are. The second person plural is estis, y'all are. And the third person plural, sunt, they are. Please make sure you've copied this down and then resume the video to talk about how do we translate this verb. So we've already seen how to translate it to some extent with our word est, but let's think about how this works. So let's take our example, remedium iri est mora. The first thing to do is parse everything. I've parsed our nouns, now you can parse the verb est. Right, it's third person singular, present, and indicative. Remember, since it's a linking verb, we don't really talk about there being a voice. The next step is to translate both sides of a linking verb, because the nominatives on both sides are equated to each other. Your linking verb sort of just like a giant equal sign. So you can say that the cure of anger equals delay. Or if we want to actually say this in an English sentence instead of something like a math equation, it would be the cure of anger is delay. Now your verb sum essay can also be to exist. So let's talk about how this works. Let's look at the example sunt agricolae in agris. We can follow our first step from our last sentence, parse everything. So parse everything and then we will continue. Here is how I've parsed it all. And now you'll notice that there's only one side of the linking verb. There aren't two nominatives or a predicate nominative. So you need to use your definition of sum sa meaning to exist. So we can say that farmers exist in the fields. Or if you want to make this sound a little bit differently, you could say there are farmers in the fields. However, you do need to be careful with this, that sometimes your subject or one of those sides of the linking verb will be hidden in the verb like as Romanus because as is the second person singular present indicative, you know that your subject is you, so you are Roman. This is not an instance of to exist. Generally, when there is to exist, it will be third person singular or plural, est or sunt, and your verb will be coming at the beginning of the sentence, like sunt agricolae in agris. Okay, it's your time to check your understanding. Please answer these questions and call me over to check them. Once I have checked to make sure that your answers are correct, then I will tell you what your next task is. Thank you for watching this video and good luck. If you have any questions, please call me over or look back at earlier parts of this video. Thank you.